I am Jahan Gladstone and welcome back to my channel Joe's Learn. Today we will learn how to write and read numbers in the Indian number system and in the international number system. So let's get started. First let's move on to Indian number system. To make this clear let's do some examples. The first example is it is doing code 46 lakh 3971. This number is very difficult to read. So, to understand which number is it much more easier way is to put comma in it. Because commas act as a separator to separate the periods of a number so that it will become much more easier to read. Now, the first period is one period. The ones period consists of three places, ones, tens and hundreds. So to separate the ones period from the rest of the number, we put a comma after it. Now let's move on to the next period that is the thousands period. The thousands period consists of two places, the thousands place and the ten thousands place. So we put a comma again after these two numbers to separate it from the rest of the digits. Now the next period is then called as the lakhs period. The lakhs period consists of two places, the lakhs place and the ten lakhs place. So we again put a comma to separate these two digits. Now the next period is called as the course period. The course period again consists of two places only. That are cos place and 10 cos place. These three digits are in the ones period. These two digits are in the thousands period. These two digits are in the lakhs period. And the last two digits are in the cos period. As you can see in the Indian numbering system, only the ones period consists of three places, while the rest of the periods only consists of two places. As you might have noticed, when I started putting the commas to separate these numbers, I started from the right side. Do you know why? Because there's a rule to start separating the numbers using a comma by the right side. That is the ones period. You have to start from the ones period. So now, based on these periods, we can write the number name of this number. The number name of this number will be 83 cores. Because there are 83 in this course period. Now, 46 lakh in the lakhs period. Now, 3,000 in the thousands period. Now, 971 in the ones period. Now, in the same way, we can read or write any number using the Indian number system. Now, let's move on to the international number system. To make you understand international number system, I have taken this example. If we read this number in Indian number system, we will read it as 83 crore 54 lakh 76,210. Now let us look at this number in international number system. In the Indian number system, as you may have noticed, only the ones period consists of three digits, while the rest of the periods only consists of two digits. But in the international number system, all the periods consists of three digits. Now we can say that in this number, the first three digits are in the ones period. The ones period consists of ones, tens and hundreds. Now the next three digits are in the thousands period. The thousands period consists of thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands. Now the next three digits are in the millions period. The millions period consists of millions, ten millions and hundred millions. So based on these periods, we can write the number name of this number. So the number name of this number will be 835 in the millions period. So it will be as 835 million. Now 476 in the thousands period. So it will be as 476,000. Now 210 
is there in the ones field. So we'll write it as 210. Now we have found the number the name of this number that is 835,476,210. Now in the same way we can read or write any number using the international number system. Now let us do one short exercise to revise all that we have learned till now. Now for this exercise I have taken a 9 digit number. So first let's take a look at the Indian number system. In the Indian number system, this nine digit number will be separated by commas but first the period is ones period. The ones period consists of ones, tens and hundreds. Now the second period is the thousands period. The thousands period consists of two dead places that are thousands place and ten thousands place. Now the next two digits are in the lakhs period. In the lakhs period it is lakhs place and ten lakhs place. Now the next two digits are in the crores period. In the crores period there are crore and ten crore. But in the international number system we, the first period is the ones period. Just like the Indian number system. The ones period also consists of ones, tens and hundreds. Now the next three digits are in the thousands period. In the thousands period there are thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands. Now the next three digits are in the millions period. In the millions period there are million, ten million and hundred million. In the Indian number system, we read the number as 63,89,42,071. But in the international number system, we read the same number as 638,942,071. Now let us take a look at the similarities and differences in the Indian number system and in the international number system. In the Indian system, the first period, that is the ones period, is same even in the international number system. And from then on, the first five digits are having the same place. Now look at this digit, 9. 9 is in the lakh space, but in here, in the international number system, 9 is told as it is in the hundred thousand space. Now, 8. It is in the 10 lakh space, but in here it's shown as it's in the millions period. Now, 3. 3 is in the crore space, but in the international number system, it's shown as 3 is 10 million space. Now, you can understand that the differences only come when the number is a 6 digit number or a bigger than 6 digit number. Now let us only consider these five digits only and don't consider the rest of the number in the same way in the international also. So it will be 42,071 and here also 42,071. But if you add one more digit to it that is 9 in the international and in the India. Then now the number name will change. In this it will be 9,42,071. But in the international system it will be 9,42,071. Now the number is big or small. That's not the point. We just have to remember that how to separate the periods in the Indian numbering system and in the international number system. In the Indian number system, first will be divided by 3, then 2, 2, 2 and so on. But in the international number system, it will be 3, 3, 3 and so on. Now we have understood how to read and write the number in both the systems, which is international number system and Indian number system. Hope you understood.
the concept. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe now and also click the bell icon to get notifications on my latest videos. Bye friends! Thank you for watching!